One of the things was that she she refused to have a shower or a bath. Um, and I think that's a very common problem with people with dementia. And actually, when you think about it, it requires a huge amount of sort of continued activity to actually get undressed. You know, if you get one arm out of your cardigan, are you then putting a cardigan on or taking it off? And at care homes, um, health and safety, people tend to wear rubber gloves and aprons. And... Um, Imagine, you know, someone's coming at you or possibly two people with rubber gloves and apron and they're taking your clothes off. Mm. Well, Fred, my sister, <laughs> reverted to um, the person she's always been. She very firmly punched one on the nose and whacked the other on the head, which isn't funny. However, you know, I can quite understand it, you mm. know, if um, it wasn't it wasn't going to happen. So they were saying, well, no, now she's aggressive. And, um, you know, they were talking about sort of um, getting the doctor in and and sort of completely labelling her as, as aggressive. And I thought, well, she won't be aggressive if, if she understands mm. what's happening, if we can make it, you know, something for her to, to agree to. So the speckle way was to make um, having a shower fun. And I thought, well, we'll have a little party. So we put the music on. She had no idea what was going on, but she thought it was quite funny. She thought, thought I was being daft. And I sort of said, oh, my shower's broken at home. I think, I think I'll use yours, and that's all right. So I started to get undressed and I was sort of sash- sashaying in and out of the shower, mm. saying what fun it was. And um, I came out one time and she and she said uh, and she started to get undressed mm. by herself. So I sort of, you know, got a towel around me and sort of helped her and we had a shower together. Mm. And uh, it was very giggly. Um, it was just hysterical when the music was still going and, uh, you know, no, no aggression, no problem. Um, and, you know, we... I got her dry and did her hair, washed her hair, did everything. And the next day when I came in to give her a shower, I just said, oh, my shower's not working at home. And I just had to get my shoes and socks off and roll up my trousers. And she started to get undressed mm. so I could shower her like that. And um, and that, that was fine. That was how we did it for quite a few times. And I told the carers, you know, this is how it, how it works. Oh, well, well, no, we can't do that. But I was talking to the young girl who worked in the office who was not a trained carer at all. She was about 19 or something. And uh, she said, oh, that's brilliant. She said, oh, I don't mind doing that with Louise. Brilliant. So she would, she she showered her for a while and, you know, she'd sort of get down to her bra and pants or something and and have a laugh. And mm. after that, it, it, it ceased to be a problem. I mean, that's the amazing difference is without speckles, somebody's labelled as difficult and possibly psychotic and needing drugs. And needing medication. And yeah. with speckle, you understand from that person's point of view mm. and everything's back on an even keel. Mm.